Hi everyone, welcome back to Dungeons & Dragons with Outside Xbox. My name is Corazon de Baena, the human pirate rogue, and I have a new hat. So if we could just go around the table, everyone introduce yourself and tell me what you think of my new hat. I'm Egbert, the Dragonborn Paladin, uh, and in the time since the last adventure, I've learnt to juggle my tinnies. So. And the hat? Is, and the hat is excellent. Thank you. Egbert approves of the hat. It took a while to get to that. His head's, Egbert's head is too big for hats, so really appreciates it on you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Egbert. I'm Prudence, the tiefling warlock, and um, in the couple of weeks that's passed since our last Ox venture, I've been uh, in seclusion thinking about my life and <laughs> my choices. <laughs> Many regrets. And the people I surround myself with, such as Corazon, who does indeed have a new hat. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I'm Meryl Wen, the uh, Wood Elf Druid, and uh, since our last adventure I've just gone on a, a short sea cruise, and by that I mean literally under the sea, just to get inside, you know, see, get in touch with my uh, watery side, I think, I spend a lot of time on the land, and <laughs> yeah, his hat's alright, yeah. Uh, I'm Dob, the half orc bard. Um, since we last adventured, I've been off ha hanging out with my uh, recently rediscovered sister, Suzette, uh, she's uh, she's departed to do some more, a bit more research now, which brings me back into the fold. And um, Corazon, the word I've got written down here is radiant. Aww. Thank you, God. Great notes. Is it about Corazon? Though? Uh, it's about the hat. Yes, <laughs> the hat is. It's as radiant as it is now a thing. Yeah, yeah. As radiant uh, as it is. <laughs> And I am literally everyone else in the world. Hey. Hey. Being um, omni powerful, I'm not obliged to give any opinions about the hat. Wow. So, uh, <laughs> not obliged to, sure. though. You probably he moved said it to. all with his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm welcome to, but not obliged. Um, as hinted at by uh, the lovely introductions from the Ox Adventures, this uh, particular adventure takes place a couple of weeks after the event that transpired at the, the Scratchy Parchment. Mm. Kidney um, gate, as I, I like to call it. <laughs> oh, it yeah. was, yeah, things got real. So I kind of feel like everyone uh, sort of took some time out, they went in and did some things, like they just sort of chilled out. And um, what do you know, they've met up and they're just going for like a nice walk in the countryside, yeah. um, which has absolutely no ill portent. Whatsoever. <laughs> Guys, I'd hoped that by now Egbert would be over the kidney thing, but apparently not. No, he's, he's mentioned still, it to me like ten times. Still whining. Oh, Actually, he's doing much less whining because he can't process alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll find it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, better. we'll get you a new kidney, and a better when one. we find it, it is going to be delicious. Yeah. <laughs> what? We're not eating it. We can't put it back in you. Yeah, yeah. It, will, it, will, it won't be any good What do you know about Dragonborn anatomy? Maybe it just plugs back in. I know it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be beautifully <laughs> aged by now. We can just fricassee it with a little garlic. Yeah. It did look like it was being pickled in that jar. Mm. Mm. It's probably imparting flavor. Anyway, it's, this is making me angry again, so. Making me hungry. <laughs> anyway, I'm enjoying this walk, guys. How about you? It's good. Good. It's, good. it's very nice. Yeah. So where are we? Where are we walking to? Even are we just having a stroll? Are we in nature? This seems like a Merylwyn idea. Where are we walking? Where are we walking? <laughs> Her idea was to walk around under the sea. She's really into oh. the sea now for some reason. Yeah. Well, I thought we had a boat, and I kept getting seasick, so, so I ship, thought I'd overcome ship, that. Ship, it's a boat. <laughs> so we're just going for a random walk, like it's Christmas Day, or what? Yeah, we're doing a catch up. Catch We've up. all eaten a lot of kidneys. <laughs> You've been telling me all about. Up. Suzette. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's doing well. Yeah, yeah, yeah she yeah, sends yeah. her best to most of you. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Great. Which, Which ones didn't she send her best to? <laughs> is it, what is that a sparrow laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Instinctive um, core. Everybody <laughs> looks up to sort of follow Dobbs' <laughs> uh, expert misdirection, <laughs> um, and you sort of sort of gaze up into the sun. Egbert, uh, as you sort of look up toward the sky with sort of you know this golden orb hanging there, your vision sort of starts. To blur. That is what happens <laughs> if you stare directly into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> He's going into renal failure. <laughs> this is true, but uh, the the effect only intensifies long beyond what you would normally expect from just staring at the sun. And um, you start to have something of a vision. At first, some sort of finally dark, some sort of religious visitation. Some dark spots sort of appear in front of your eyes, and you're thinking maybe I'm going to pass vision. out again. <laughs> But then okay. they sort of start to coalesce into a form that um, is somewhat familiar to you. It's some form of bovine religious... <gasps> Finally! Um, could you please describe it to me? Oh, well, it's, you know that 
bit in the Song of the Lion King where just a giant face appears in the clouds. It's like that, but there's no clouds. <laughs> it's just appearing in the sun. The sun's basically <laughs> rotated and there's a cow's face on it. Um, like Teletubbies. <laughs> yeah, a bit like Teletubbies. <laughs> like the song of the, the tale of the t- Teletubbies. Guys, it is way too early for this. <laughs> um, so as you kind of see it, it opens its mouth and sort of gives this Absolutely enormous celestial moo. Like mm. telescope. Like, this is what I've been waiting for. And you guys. sort of the earth around you seems to shake. Um, you hear a voice inside uh, your head, and it says to you, Egbert. Hello. Finally. Hello, Egbert. Egbert. I wasn't sure you were even listening. Sorry, I've not been in touch. Yes, well, it's fine. I've been waiting, I've been keeping the faith. Ah, but you're not fine, are you, Egbert? No, I am missing a kidney, and mm. it still hurts. I can imagine. I touch the space where my kidney should be, gingerly. Don't Do- poke it, it'll get septic. Okay. <laughs> the rest of us look around dear. like, who's Egbert talking to? Yeah. I'm just talking yes. into the sky. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's having a conversation with the, the, just the air in front of him, I basically. Think Egbert's as far as chatting you're... to the sun. <laughs> Egbert, listen. He's dying. Long have you been my acolyte, and even though I've well, I've not been there for you. I am pleased with how you have conducted yourself. Oh, that's great, because I thought it was going really badly. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm sort of getting around to that, okay. because you've smashed a great many things <laughs> and exploded a great many more. Yes. Sometimes, even yourself. Yes, a little, occasionally. And, and yet, I sense pain in you, Egbert, and that, in turn, causes me pain. <gasps> you can't. Well, it, I care about making the pain stop, yeah. Okay. But this, Growing back a little, but yes. You must take strides, my boy. Okay. To ease your soul. Yes. That's what I'm looking for. Just give me any kind of guidance Just as to how that works. You need to direct your destructive energies. The path is yours to tread, mm-hmm. but frankly, I've been waiting for you to find it for some time now. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to give you a little nudge. Thanks. There is a deed of great evil looming. Huh? One you must prevent. Right. I trust you will know it when you hear of it. I mean, you're putting a lot of trust into me. And yet. <laughs> head east, Egbert, and you may find what you seek. Okay, east. And with a sort of like, almost Doppler effect diminishing moo, it kind of like <laughs> Good. The uh, sun turns the right way back round, and you um, you snap out of it. Guys, I think Egbert's nearing the end. We should probably yeah, humanely okay. euthanise him. Right. No, guys, <laughs> guys. Well, it's a great privilege to see a dragonborn die. <laughs> <laughs> guys, should I get his bones. <laughs> guys, oh, they're kidding me. Oh my god. Guys, what? What? I just had a vision from the Hash oh. Mauve. Right. What? My what? deity, the one I've been devoted to for at least the last. 18 months. It's never kind of spreadable to. soft cheese. No, that's Lavash Kiri. All oh, right. Easy mistake to make. With you, with you. <laughs> wait, 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 you, did, you, you just saw a purple cow. Yes. And Wet, you... Sorry, in the sun. In the sun. And it said to me, go east. Well, we're not doing that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we can't do what the sun is. <laughs> it was clearly unwell. We always yeah. go in the directions you want to go. I'm up for it. East, you say? Yes. I mean, we haven't got anything else on today, have There's we? There's some evil's gonna happen, a deed of great evil. I, and by extension, you guys have to prevent it. What? Yeah. What about evil deeds? What kind of evil deeds? You can sit this one out if you like, but I, I'm gonna stop this evil deed and I need some help. Okay, oh. Egbert, the Hi. talking sun <laughs> told you to go east. Let's just humour him and then I, we can I'd euthanize like to point him. I'd that Horizon has an automated um, eye yeah, patch yeah, yeah, yeah. that flips itself. It flips itself. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Upgrades. Upgrades. That's, I put all uh, of my points into eye patch. Right. I will join in an observational capacity. Okay. Like, um, Good. Yeah, an, 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 observ- an observer. I'm with you, Egbert. I'm ready to give everything and then more. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I've got nothing else planned today, yeah. so I, yeah, let's go east, I guess. Yeah, also, works. thank you. Which way is east then, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, this is your plan. I've been looking at the sun, I've no idea which way east is. That's how we know which way east is. <laughs> uh, wait, sun, the sun rises in the east. 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 Yeah. So, what time of day is it? It's morning, so it's over there. So, so we run, run at the sun. Is, let's <laughs> run at the sun. <laughs> as hard as we can. I set off sprinting at the sun. <laughs> 
It's um, it's about half a day's journey on foot, so let's call it a quarter day's journey sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> so just afternoon, um, you um, oh, you're, nice you're, 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 you're you're exhausted, but you are at least fairly sure that you've been heading east because you've just been pelting it at the sun for <laughs> hours. I mean, the sun will have moved, so we've gone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. But now, anyway, sun is directly above the sky, so right into the sky. I jump as high as I can. <laughs> well, um, as you as you jump up and down, Dob, you sort of see, just sort of, you're sort of on the crest of a hill. You're like, oh, I think there's a town down there. Um, and uh, as you sort of get a bit closer, you do in- indeed see that there is a really beautiful, lovely <laughs> market town. <laughs> spread out um, in front of you. And there is there is even a lovely sign that's hand-painted with flowers and things that says, Welcome to Barrow Springs. Um, and it looks like it's a market day. Um, <gasps> it's it's glorious. You feel pretty good to see, I mean, you know, obviously you're filled with religious fervor. Everyone else is like, <laughs> well, at least there's something at the end of this sprint. <laughs> so yeah, Barrow Springs lies before you. Okay, I deploy my auto eye patch and... <laughs> <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> I want to in- investigate what this town looks like. How many sort of people it looks like there are around. What's going on? What GDP. did your cow god say we should do when we got here, Egbert? <laughs> you know, deities. They can be quite vague. Pretty sure. much just said we we know so what we saw. Tell me about it. it. Yeah. Okay. Let's yeah. look for um, pop up food stalls. Mm. Okay. Yeah, those are always good. Because mm. um, we must be hungry, right? Mm-hmm. Anyone else hungry? I yeah. could eat. I could eat. Yeah. Yeah. I could eat. Uh, um, okay. So let's, yeah, let's just go down and uh, get the measure of the place. You can absolutely have inspiration for that eye patch nonsense, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just wonderful. So, um, yeah, you sort of descend into the streets of, um, of Barrow Springs and you actually get some pretty warm welcomes. Everyone sort of seems genuinely happy to see you, which for this party is something of a novelty. Um, Not for me. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice sort of like bright, coming into afternoon, uh, flowers are spilling from window boxes, the streets are clean, everyone Sounds seems prosperous lovely. and happy. And as you approach the market square, you see a very large banner hung over it that says, Quest Givers Market Today. <laughs> <laughs> Adventures of all shapes, sizes and alignments. Oh, uh, is the Quest Givers Market Today? Amazing. God, has it been a month already? What? Guys, what do you say to a quest? I mean, it's been a while since we've done one. Yeah. I usually go well. I think that would be great. And we have to prevent a great evil. Oh, Correct. So what we could do is do a good guy quest, or right now we kill the evil quest givers. Mm. Or we could take we could take <laughs> an evil quest. And, and not then do it really badly. Not do it. Yeah. Because then we would prevent the great evil. And then we wouldn't have to do anything. These all sound like genuinely brilliant plans. Maybe we should just do a good quest, because they tend to be great yeah, evils. Yeah, it's a lot of work, though. I like the evil quest idea. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to get paid, though, if we don't do the quest. <laughs> well, like, what yeah, does that matter? Why do you keep know. throwing away all our money? Yeah, Investing but it. it's <laughs> a, truly, a truly good quest, you know, is altruistic, really, isn't it? Sort of. She's yeah, if you're taking money for it. Well, you've got to yeah. keep the lights on. That's checkmate. Check and make. I don't know what we're arguing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but that was very persuasive. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go and talk to some of these quest givers and see what they've got. So you want to do a good quest for no money? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Meryl, when you go and do a good quest for no money, I'll right. go and do something morally ambiguous for tons of money. I'm shopping mm. for an evil quest for some money. Okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. We're all sorted. Out <laughs> what we're here for today. Maybe we could get options. Yeah. Maybe okay. we could each go, uh, like, spec out a potential quest. And we can come back and decide, come back and decide yeah. which of the five quests we want to do. Yeah, so, well, how many quest givers are there here in this marketplace? Loads. Oh, loads. Oh, loads. Oh, I, I loads. think, is there, is there one person that we can go to to ask for advice? Is there a directory? <laughs> yeah. yeah, is there, like, a ye, 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 ye olde yellow pages person? Um, like a quest giver for quest givers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. There it is. Yeah, who can point um, us in the right direction and maybe yeah. Egbert if you yeah, ask. Egbert. All right, I'm going to go over to one so of the thing? the guy who looks like he knows the meta the meta quest giver. Information the, desk. The head quest giver. Yeah. There is a man in shining plate um, with a helmet tucked under his arm. It's not all shining because some of it has sort of been painted, so it looks like a very fashionable suit, mm. uh, complete with a bow tie. He's got his helmet wow. and he has a tray. He's like the maitre d'. And he's there, yeah, just... Good. Is he standing under a banner with like an exclamation mark on? Uh, it's, it's a question mark. <laughs> a question mark. It says, ask Sir Jeeves. Yes, all right, good. <laughs> Sir all right, Jeeves. what do you want? Wolf, wolf pelts? 
Ten wolf pelts. <laughs> How many wolf pelts will it take? <laughs> I, I ask Sir Jeeves uh, yes. what the deal is, what, what kind of quests can we expect from this uh, marketplace of quests? Uh, well, good afternoon, sir. Um, this is the Market Giver's Quest. We have everything here. Big quests, small quests, morally ambiguous quests, <laughs> morally <laughs> forthright quests, morally repugnant quests, Ooh. boring quests, mm. moderately exciting quests, very exciting quests, Ooh. deadly quests, benign quests, <laughs> mildly harmful quests. Shall I keep going, sir? Uh, no, no, it's fine. We'd like to mix and match, but uh, we've got a party of five here. Uh-huh. Um, but we, we've got a specific goal in mind. Yeah, yeah, we need to stop a great evil. You've got any great evils? Stop a great evil? Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll tell you what, wait, wait right here. May I take a name? Uh, Egbert. Egbert, right. Uh, I'll be right back with some options. Okay. Um, he scurries off, sort of like clanking running uh, like down one of the, the aisles um, and after a few minutes he sort of comes up with sort of a, uh, like a bunch of people behind him and he's like, um, Egbert, party of five. Hello. Uh, right this way. Um, <laughs> if you would form an orderly line, please, he says to the, the quest givers. Um, I've, prepared, I've prepared some, some finely chosen options for you. This one's sponsored, I'm afraid. Okay. Uh, so you might not want that one. But, no, um, it looks too expensive. Yeah, yeah, mm, you're more than welcome to, uh, to, to pick and choose. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, I, I address the first quest giver who's assembled and say, what have you got for us, buddy? Are we the best adventurers around, as far as I'm aware? Um, hello, uh, I need help doing my taxes. No! <laughs> what? No, that's that's it. Numbers. Zero amount. Zero amount. <laughs> Great um, evil, you yeah. see. Uh, oh, if that one's not to your liking, sir, but no, please no. proceed. Okay, uh, I, I turn to the next one and say, hey, uh, what, what have you got? I hope yeah. it's not taxes. Hello, uh, no, my son's gone missing, and listen, I think it's this rat. Oh, pfft. Done it. All right, next one. <laughs> not interested. Uh, it's a very elderly lady who just says, I can't open this jar of pickles. Do it. Done. There you go. <laughs> she hands you, she hands Dob a bag of gold. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl and Treasure! It's mine! It's mine! I stuffed it into my mouth! <laughs> no! 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 Outfit! No! Oh. Half of it swallowed. Half of it swallowed the rest of it. Rub it in tummy. <laughs> get it back. You'll get it back! Oh, gosh. Oh. Okay. It's banked. While that's going it's on, coming back with interest here and say, please, come on, anything that is like worthwhile and good. Oh, I got something worthwhile for you. Mm. That sounds like a threat, but okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm really not. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. This um, sounds like a serious character voice. Listen, right, uh, I'm looking for bounty hunters. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, God. There's a fugitive wanted for crimes against Barrow Springs. He okay. robbed the local, 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 excuse me one second. <laughs> Have you been drinking? Is that a dwarfish name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> he robbed la, 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 the local apothecary. Ordinarily, I'd deal with the man myself, but right. he's fled over the waters. Do they not usually flee? When you say I deal, I would deal with him myself. Under what ideal circumstances? You know well, what? Wait, it doesn't matter. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. He's fled Fair outside enough. of my jurisdiction. Okay. okay. Cool. He's fled to a place called Mistmire. Oh my God. Well, I need you. We could try a different quest, maybe. <laughs> I guess. I guess it's taxes then. <laughs> no, let's go to Mistmire. Right. No, Mistmire. 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 I put yeah. on one of those visors and get a calculating machine. <laughs> Or, uh, yeah, okay, well, if, yeah, we could do that as well. I mean, that sounds like the sort of thing you're after, but hey, buddy, mm. you want to go and stop a great evil? Huh? Because of the sky cow? Yes, I know, yeah, I do, but also, I could, anywhere else would be good. Quest giver, I've been told to ask what's in it for us. And also, why does Egbert hate this much so much? It seems nice. But yeah, I think, I think Egbert's on the way out. This is, <laughs> just go along, it's like, like a, you know. Yeah, once he's in the boat, or to the back of the head. <laughs> we'll just play along with it so he has a nice time until, yeah, you know. Yeah. Listen, the bounty on this guy's head is enormous. And I will let you take the entire lot. And oh. listen, I'll even throw in, say, 50 gold pieces on top. That's, That's a great deal! Ooh, I really need this guy generous right. of you. This well, is great. Look, but I feel like we can't say no. Yeah, oh, this is a great smile, quest. Me a smile, me a smile. And it's a great evil. Well, well given that you've so. all chanted it at me, I guess we'll go then. That's but, the law. Um, yeah. yeah. All right. All right, okay, well, I suppose uh, we'll do that and I'll, th- yes. Um, yeah, okay. All right. You'll Fine. find the start of the concourse five miles that way. You better be quick because the tide's coming in. <sighs> sprint! All right. Everybody sprint, sprint to the dock! 
<laughs> I follow. <laughs> As we sprint. Guys, Egbert's not his usual, you know. Yeah, he's used to be well up for quests. Yeah. Devil may care self. I wonder if perhaps he gets seasick. Mm. Mm. Especially now with only one kidney. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's just biology. Yeah. <laughs> right. Here are our options as far as I see it. Okay. okay. We talk to him frankly about his feelings. Mm, pass. Next. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we ignore what he's we ignore it and Love act it. like everything's fine. Love it. Great plan. <laughs> denial. Right. Vote for denial. Yeah. Okay. Are those the only two options? I, I, yeah. Uh, option two. Option, right. option three is the ore across the head. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that in the back yeah, pocket. Yeah, yeah, keep it in the back pocket until yeah. he starts the to or. really deteriorate. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's try and give him opportunity to talk about it though. Let's ask him how he's doing. Okay. Real, really casual though. Like, so he feels at ease. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Sure. I sidled right. up to Egbert. While sprinting. While Which sprinting. <laughs> 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 I'm like, whoa, Egbert, sometimes when I sprint loads, I don't feel so good. Okay. And I think what helps is talking about it. Or okay, do you want to talk about it? Yeah. I just am um, sprinting so much that I've got a mild stitch. And that how, sounds like a, missing a kidney, but not as bad. Oh man, you know, like we've all got problems. How, <laughs> how are you getting on? Egg, but uh, I just, you know, this quest seems like maybe just. I mean, we had a load of money from that lady with the jar. Do we really need any more money? Have you thrown all the money away? We don't. I mean, yes, but we don't have to go on this quest if, if you don't. If you don't. I sprint up next to dog to. and whisper, "Oh, to the head." <laughs> <laughs> and then the negotiations have failed. <laughs> I, uh, I'm Egbert, I'm going to be honest, just between, just between the two of us, I'm picking up like you don't, maybe don't want to go on this quest, and I will completely side with you if you absolutely definitely don't, but maybe we should talk about why you don't. It's not so much the quest, it's that I can't go back to Mist Mire, at least oh. not yet. Buddy, you should have just said, I will disguise you as <laughs> a sea creature. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll say we caught you doing deep sea fishing. <laughs> okay. It will be fine. Why right. can't you go back? Well, I can't go back until I, you know, atoned. atoned. Oh. Yeah. And I it's... used to live there. And really, I can't return until I have atoned uh, to the measure of my sins. But so what if atonement there? lies in facing your greatest fear? Failing atonement. <laughs> Egbert goes cross-eyed. <laughs> what? Um, I, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works, but okay. We're on I mean, Sun Cow's path. Yeah, I know, that's the problem. That's what I've been wrestling with. That's why I've been making all those weird faces. Sounds uh, like it requires a leap of faith. Well, if you say so, but I do think the disguise idea is probably a good idea because I think anyone in there sees me. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're gonna have some pretty, uh, Interesting questions. Uh, it's, don't worry, you will be catch of the day. No one will look twice. <laughs> what kind of sea creature are you talking about? Whatever. What do you want? What? Sea, a seahorse would have the same shaped face. Yeah. A seahorse. <laughs> a a big, really big seahorse. Really big seahorse. Sea sea Probably the biggest, biggest sea horse. <laughs> <laughs> sea dragon. A sea, yeah, a sea, sea dragon. I don't thing? think they exist, but okay. Well, that's okay. world's biggest seahorse. Oh, we can right. display him as a carnival attraction. All right. Yeah. <laughs> world's biggest seahorse. Um, yeah. Or, With yeah. legs. With legs. Okay. Who can just walk around in, without being in attack? That's the thing. We've got it. We've got to. One of us will hold you by the scruff of the neck as if we're holding you up. In fact, one of us will just carry you. <laughs> Several of us will carry you. Don't volunteer to carry. I volunteer yeah. to carry you. Right. Okay. Well, it's a plan. Uh, certainly. Okay. Let's do it. Go on then. All right. Well, we need a boat. I assume you've stopped sprinting. Yeah. No, we're sprinting <laughs> into the ocean. <laughs> boat. I'm drinking an isotonic sports meat. <laughs> Because um, I'll sort of I'll, I'll clue you up on, on what you can now see. Sort okay. of now you've sprinted a good distance the way to uh, to Mistmire. Basically, um, funnily enough, things are getting a bit misty around here. Um, it is just basically a large sort of open plain, uh, and the tide is out. It's like at the minute, it's a lot of like you know rocks and sand and some water, but not loads of water. Um, and there is sort of a, a paved concourse, which you can tell from sort of how slippery it is and how there's sort of like mildew on it and stuff like that. Um, that gets covered at high tide, but it leads all the way to basically this this walled citadel, which sort of springs up from this almost like estuary island. Um, and it is a very large, very impressive city. And you sort of, you look at that and you're like, 
That probably is where paladins come from, yes. It is like the most knight in shining armor place you've ever seen. It's home. Was home. I can barely see it, it's pretty misty. Um, but what do you say we head over there and get the measure of the place? Are we going to do this disguise thing? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Dob, do you want to seahorse him up? Uh, yeah, I use my disguise kit to disguise Egbert as a, an extremely convincing large seahorse. Does anyone have like a fishing rod or something that would really sell the look? Um, I don't think so. All right, I fashion one from... Um, Can we I've got some disassemble rope. Merylwen's bow? And just... She might need the bow. If we just untie the end, then it'll have like a string hanging off it and it'll look like a fishing rod, won't it? Okay, Merylwen, how easy would it be to put your bow back together if we do that? Fairly easy. Just tie it back up. Yeah. All right, cool. So, un under things, that's actually a really good idea. Because, yeah, that looks like a fishing rod. Um, I'll put a small little metal hook. I take one out of a clasp of my jacket and put that in. Mm -hmm. And, Egbert, this is just going to sort of rest inside your cheek. Um, <laughs> and, and, I, and, and, and I fashion a really, really convincing large seahorse with little crosses for eyes. <laughs> obviously, it's dead. What I love about this is the amount of dignity that falls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is this the homecoming you pictured? <laughs> Uh, oh, and um, it's got to be really slimy and it's got to be really salty. So um, I get a bunch of stinking seaweed and sort of like ram it up inside the Whoa, like disguise. <laughs> <laughs> In the gaps of the disguise so that it looks and smells and feels convincingly slimy like we just caught it. Okay, right. So we want to head into like a public area. Uh, but, uh, 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 I want you to make me a dex oh. sleight of hand uh -huh. check to see how good the actual disguise is. Is. Just okay. tell me what you've rolled. Uh, uh, all right, that's a, a d20, right? Yep. Cool. Uh, well, that's an 18 uh, plus six. <laughs> <laughs> it wow. is remarkable. <laughs> it is like you think that there might actually be an industry in this special effects <laughs> business. If you if you think you know, like some of these mummers need their their, their morality place <laughs> spicing up a bit. Oh, yeah. Sure. I think I can probably do this. Um, yeah, yeah, like it's like where's Egg but gone? There is just a giant seahorse. There <laughs> oh sure, now. but when you're asked to do a spider tiger, <laughs> I don't think I don't. My memory is hazy. But I don't think I was asked to do a spider tiger. <laughs> I think that was a committee decision. Uh, okay, and um, I, I sling the disguised egg but over my shoulders. Um, I'm going to take off this so that it doesn't get slime on it. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we want to go into like a public place. And then I reckon start uh, dis displaying the. We'll put <laughs> the in a, yeah for profit. We'll put him in a little tent and charge roll people. Up. <laughs> okay, I construct a small tent in a public area, and I start shouting, "Roll up, roll up! See the world's largest, weirdest seahorse. Only one copper piece. Come in and see the freak that's." Shocked Miss Meyer. <laughs> Guys, I think we want a lower profile than this. No, 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 no this, is good. this is good. Marilyn. You're this not gonna... in the bloody city yet. <laughs> as much as I love this flat. <laughs> Come outside the city and see the weird seahorse. His car is on twirling a cane at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Marching back and forth. I'm singing all the soundtrack to The Greatest Show. Um, strangely enough, a woman does uh, <laughs> walk over. She is sort of looking at you all quizzically. She's eating an apple. Um, she has an arm in a sling, mm. and uh, she's a tiefling, actually. <gasps> Just well, by hmm. the way. She sort of looks at you and goes, mm, I'm assuming you're not the bounty hunters. Want to see a big weird seahorse? <laughs> There's only one cup of peace. <laughs> Why would you assume we're not the bounty hunters? Because you've got a big weird seahorse. <laughs> yeah, that was our last bounty. <laughs> this seahorse has done things you wouldn't believe, man. <laughs> we're bringing him in. I tried with menacing. <laughs> um, right. Guys, we're not bounty hunters. What? We're not bounty hunters. Too late now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wait, always I mean, too late now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what bounty hunters? <laughs> Do you know? Come. Mm, so, okay, well, fine. We're what? bounty hunters. We're bounty hunters. We are. Counter to all appearances. Yeah. We are bounty hunters. Particularly this appearance. Yeah. Yeah. So Except we. You. There was a, a guy at the Quest Givers Market said someone had robbed an apothecary. Yeah, we're, uh, we're here we're on behalf the... of uh, Barrow Springs. We didn't yeah. ask his name, but I'm sure we'll find him again easily. <laughs> <laughs> we got no further information. Did I recognise his voice. Do you have a gruff voice? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 the gruff yeah. inflated sense of purpose. The gruffest. Uh, yeah. The yeah. most yeah. inflated. Yeah. That's Dwight. Yeah, all right okay. then. Okay. Um, look, I, uh, I've been waiting to see who he'd send. Oh. Um, I'm the apothecary he robbed. 
Ah, what? good. I was hoping we might meet you because we have zero other information to go on. I didn't ask anyone. So now we can follow up on what happened, what the crime was. And wait, what are you doing all the way here in Miss Moir? Yeah. And also, do you want to see a big weird seahorse? <laughs> wait, did you say the apothecary he robbed? Or that mm -hmm. got robbed? That got... Okay. The, the, the apothecary that got robbed. How do you know it was okay. a he? Because cool. I was there. And, yes, <laughs> and I can already see the big weird seahorse. Please stop asking me. <laughs> How did he know an apothecary? He's was seeing it for free, Coruscant. <laughs> <laughs> cover up his ears. <laughs> <laughs> and not to put too fine a point on it, I was actually being coy earlier. I knew that you were the bounty hunters. It's just that you sprinted away <laughs> so fast I didn't get a chance to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> so I, so, I so <laughs> she just points at a horse. She's like, oh. So I sort of oh. decided to. Okay. Marilyn goes to pet the horse. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's, okay. it, it starts doing the weird nosy yeah. thing that's like, have you got anything on you? Yeah. Have you got any oats and that? I do have some oats. Okay, so the right. horse, is, horse is having a great time. Okay. The apothecary is just like... Okay. Yeah, our methods are our own, and um, yeah. sometimes we fail to get any information mm. Mm. about the bounty before we sprint. All right, apothecary. <laughs> yes. I'd like to interview you about the crime that happened. Please tell me about the crime that happened. Um, well, I was in my shop. In the shop. <laughs> got it. <laughs> And uh, a man came in. Man. Um, and he seemed friendly enough. He was sort of asking lots of questions about different herbs, different tinctures. Um, and then, to be honest, I got suspicious. He was asking his questions as if he knew nothing, as if he was browsing, but he definitely knew what he was up to. Oh, yeah. And he was asking a lot about poisons. Poisons? Mm. What's interesting. What's odorless, what's tasteless? Ooh. Uh, red flag questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, I said, "Look, I'm not going to serve you. I don't think you have good intentions." And uh, that's when he shoved me over and uh, took what he wanted. What did he take? Well, the list is too long to really go into now, but I can tell you what he took. I think he's trying to make a poison called the pale tincture. Oh my God, the pale tincture! It's terrible, and he has enough ingredients to make a lot. I have several questions. What does the pale tincture do when consumed? And can you give us a description of the man? That's two questions. What did I say? Several. <laughs> so two is several. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> basically, it, it, it'll kill you inside 24 hours. Kills your insides in 24 hours. <laughs> yes, that's, yes, but technically that's, that's what it does, yes. It's ingested and then it kills your insides until you're dead. Um, Got it. I see you, you're in the trays? Mm, yeah, big, big into poisons. And, uh, Probably the best of them. He, um, well, look, I mean, I can describe the man to you. He's notorious. Yes, okay. Oh, notorious. He's got a strange accent. Sure. And he looks, well, he looks roguish. Roguish. So you mean extremely handsome? Well, I'm not sure I'd say that, but he yeah. looks like he's up to no good. Right. Um, and, I mean, listen, I don't, I don't know really anything about this apart from the fact that it's going to take six weeks for my arm to, to knit back together. And um, Dwight seems to think he's a man named uh, Darkfall. Darkfall? Jack Darkfall. Jack Dark... God, why didn't I think of that? Oh, no. Christmas has <laughs> fallen in oh love my God. with that. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like we would get on really well <laughs> and should maybe go for a drink after this. Okay. Uh, I cast heal wounds on the broken arm. That's very kind of you, thank you. You're Welks. <laughs> oh, have you got Welks? I think, I think yeah. he's Welks. This, is, this is your horse is stuffed with Welks. <laughs> um, all right, well, I mean, thank you for that. I, I, I do hope you catch him. I mean, I'm not fussed about the inventory. I can always get more, but... If, uh, if then what's the problem? <laughs> the poison! Well, my, oh, the poison! My suspicion <laughs> is that he's planning to do something terrible. Yes, 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 I'm um, so there. But, um, <laughs> listen, if you, if you do sort this, then just come back to thank you for this. Um, come to the shop, I'll, I'll give you a discount on something. We have no clues. How are we going to know what direction to head in? Well... We need to find this man. We need to find out where the rogues hang out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. In the, so the, sh the mall. <laughs> why, do, why do I have to do it? Why don't you well, guys you, find yeah. where the rogues hang out? Well, you're a rogue, you should know. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're on a sort of a flat plane of mists, right? Yeah. And he doesn't appear to be on the flat plane of mists. All right, mists. okay, that's our first clue. But the citadel, like the, the, yeah. the paladin place. All right, well, let's go into the paladin mm. place. They right? might know. And have he a look. He might be hiding in there. Yeah. The target might be there as well. 
Hey, I think he's making a poison. Oh my god, you're right. He might be trying to poison all the paladins. <gasps> hey, but... Yeah, that we sounds should... like a pretty great evil. Yeah, we should oh, go. Egbert. We should go. I'm, yeah, I'm addressed as. Let's go. Okay. 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 All right. I haul Egbert back up onto my shoulders. Stinking seawater sloshes all over me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we. Is there anyone like guarding the gate? Can we just enter the the citadel? No, it's, I mean there are guards there, but the the portcullis is up, okay. and they're sort of standing there with sort of spears and and shields, sort of on attention. There, you can see people sort of coming and, okay. and going. Some okay. people are sort of like hurrying out yeah. to make sure they're back across the concourse before the tide completely comes in. Uh, sort of some merchants leaving to, to go somewhere else, blah, blah, blah. Obviously, I mean, they look at you a bit strangely as, as Dov walks in with a massive, very, very realistic giant seahorse on his back. <laughs> Jealous fellas, what a catch! <laughs> I, I nearly caught one that big, but it got... Oh, nearly isn't this, my friend! And I walk on past. Oh. Um, yeah, the, the guards, they, they look sad now, but they don't challenge you at least. Nice! Um, and before you sprawls um, a city that is very familiar to you, Egbert. It is sort of multi-tiered with sort of cobbled streets, like going up in little switchbacks. Um, and it's a place where it's, I mean, it's an entire city just contained in this archaeological marvel, frankly. There are sort of spires and areas where you can tell the affluent live. There are places that are, you know, sort of close to the walls. They very rarely get light that sort of uh, are a bit more run down. It's where sort of the commoners live. Um, and yeah, it's the, the whole city is at your disposal, basically. Right, I, I think we need to have a look around and see if I can see any like thief signs or anything like that. I think we need to get mm. into the criminal underworld of the city and, and find out where this... Do you think they might be sheltering him? Mm. Might be sheltering hmm. Jack Darkfall. Head to the rookery, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. Size so wistfully. <laughs> So He's cool. so dreamy. He's so cool. <laughs> I want you to call me Corazon Darkfall from now on. Um, all right, let's. I'm going to scout around and see if I can see any uh, thief signs or anything um, indicating where the criminal element. I mean, of the I city know, I know where it is. It, we yeah. had, we had, yeah. I, I've lived here. Oh my god, oh. the seahorse has come back to life. <laughs> we drape a blanket over the seahorse to converse <laughs> with the seahorse. There's a, there's a part of the city where the walls are highest. Okay. Is, Pretty much constantly in shadow between the tower and the walls. Okay. And that is where we want to go. Right, good right, but I also us. I also want to look for thief signs to determine that on my own in, independently. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Good. Do um, I see any? Yeah, maybe a wisdom perception check. All right. I'll call this a ten. It's a twenty. Whoa! Yay! Yeah. Um, the, you see? <laughs> the the whole city sort of like. <laughs> <boom>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like detective vision. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry. It's. <laughs> It's um, oh, vision. vision. It is like it's yeah. Sort of you go into Rogo Vision or sort of what, <laughs> however you want to, to term it. And basically, it's it's like a heavily annotated book where like thieves have just given their opinions on absolutely everything. There is like signs Whoa. on on a, a like a a, um, a shop wall that are just like very easy to steal here. Like, <laughs> 10 out of 10 would rob again. Yeah. Um, plus, 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 plus. Other places are just like, uh, you know, um, uh, like Aaron Hammer Seller is a jerk. Yeah, um, thief advisor. Th yeah. yeah. Um, and then um, you sort of see something that's a bit more, uh, cool. like, recent. Um, and it's sort of very, it's very sketchy on details, but it basically seems to be setting uh, a meeting place uh, that's just called The Reach mm. um, for, it just says sort of like, late afternoon, The Reach, be there. Egbert, do you yes. know uh, that place you were talking about mm -hmm. earlier with the walls and the dungeons, yes. is that The Reach? Uh, yes, well, the reach is within that area, yes. Right, okay. City. Well, we need to go to the reach for late afternoon. Mm -hmm. It seems to me mm -hmm. uh, that that's where some kind of meeting is going to go down that has to do with this apothecary. Sounds plausible. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to lead the way? If you, I mean, you tell Dob. Pilot Dob in the direction that we need to go. Okay, I'll whisper in his ear. I can't really point because as a seahorse, my arms sure, are just like sure, little. Sure, sure. But I'll sort of, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll whisper in his ear the direction we need to go. To the reach. Left. <laughs> Left again. <laughs> On the way, I rob some of the easier to rob places. Excellent. Uh, that's a deck sleight of hand check, please. Just roll it and tell me what you get. Don't screw it up. Say. 12 plus 4 plus 2. Uh, so 
18. Yeah, you make like a pretty decent amount of money. You're yeah. like, damn, why didn't Egbert bring us to this place sooner? Yeah, Egbert, this place is great. Like why haven't we come here before? Like I mean, buffet. I don't think you robbing everywhere is really helping my atonement. Oh, it's got nothing to do with you, unless you want some of this. Do you want some money? No. No, no, cool. All I don't me. have pockets. Me. I'm a seahorse. Well, I mean, you could hardly <laughs> have, you can hardly be blamed He's for this. He's got pockets Egbert. now as a disguise. Slip a tip. <laughs> <laughs> a gold don't worry, Egbert, I will keep all of this money away from you. Okay. So it's all, don't worry. Fine. It's all, yeah, it's all good. on you. Good, that's fine. Great. Are we at the reach yet? Pretty much, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Let's examine it and <clears> see what's going on. Indeed, you sort of, you start to um, to sort of get over there and um, not to, to, again, invoke the fabulous folk tale of uh, yon king of lions, <laughs> but um, it is a shadowy place and you, you would imagine that people warn their sons never to go there. It's great. Pretty much like as the line of shadow cuts across your path, you go from like relatively clean cobbled streets to just filth. Um, it is like slime, broken glass, like yeah. a few people are just already like insensate on the floor, just uh, laid out through drink or drugs or, or violence. You're not really sure and you're not that keen on finding out. Might just take my hat off, it's new, I don't want to get any slime on it. <laughs> just... Nice town you got here, Egbert. It's a real trash pile. <laughs> you wanted to come to this bit. Well, yes. There's a nice bit up there. Well, but this is where the bounty hunter is, I yes, assume. Yes, it is. And also yeah. hope. Hey, but do you want to remain in this disguise or do you want to bust out dramatically? I oh, yeah, the, 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 the he thieves can't here. Be seen. I yeah, can't but be the thieves aren't going to shock the you to tell, the paladin. What if they tell everyone? There could be some coin in it for That's them. That's exactly oh. what the thieves would do. Yeah. yeah. I'm, okay. I'm struggling not to reveal him <laughs> for coin right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I like having him on my shoulders. I don't think the time is right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, so whatever's happening here is happening late afternoon. Can we determine the time from the sun? Does anyone know how to do that? Can't see a whole lot of sun from in here. Yeah, it's true, it's dark. You reckon it's getting on for late afternoon? It's getting on for late afternoon? Sort of, you, you didn't hit Barrow Springs until sort of early afternoon. Oh, wait a minute, I saw the pocket watch earlier. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's late afternoon, guys, so... Sweet. Well, I that's what it says on the dial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Late yeah. afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. It's sort of it's still primitive technology at this point. Indeed. You know. um, yeah, so I reckon we just hang out. Just see loiter. See who turns up. All right, everyone look cool. Intimidating. And uncool. Yeah. Yeah, we lean... Not like an easy mark. Yeah. We lean against a wall with one foot yeah. up. Yeah, picking like, my yeah. nails yeah. with a knife and such. Real yeah. James Dean aesthetic. I start doing yeah. the, the knife hand thing nice. in the corner, just like, come on. I okay. put a, a toothpick in the corner of my mouth. Just everyone make me a dexterity stealth check. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just uh, don't screw it up, basically. Do I need to? Right. Because I'm still disguised as a seahorse and not doing a whole lot. But. Um, <laughs> <laughs> roll it anyway, just uh, just don't roll a one. Roll uh, uh-oh. Eight. Eight, okay. Thirteen. No, wait, no, six. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? I've got six plus two modifiers. So you are incredibly well disguised. Mm. All right, got a... Uh, Oh, that's a 20! Whoa! Crit, 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 Damn. crit, 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 crit. Um, I got a 13. Prud- basically, when everyone's like, oh, we need to make ourselves like inconspicuous, Prudence basically goes like, no problem. Takes one step back, and then the darkness just coalesces. <laughs> goes like, Pr- and like, Pr- a, Prudence? A cover, like a blanket of shadow is there. Prudence! Um, just some yellow eyes. Yeah. You sort of, you, you almost have to, if you don't look directly at her, you can sort of see where she is because it is a spot that is darker than the darkness. <laughs> um, and then yeah. you hear me say that as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you then hear her chuckle really <laughs> honestly. <laughs> one by one, you see sort of people start to, to come in from the square and start loitering. Similarly, um, one person sort of comes in, another, and then a third. Somebody sort of starts picking at their nails, and then they sort of they glance up and they see Meryl when sort of doing that. And like, you're making fun. Oh. No, 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 no. I was just uh, checking my arrows. Uh, that's that's how I. Uh, yeah. You anticipating a scrap, are you? No, no, no. Um, <laughs> planning a hunting trip. Help actually. I move away so. from this. <laughs> What are you hunting? Um, I'm not sure I'm new to the area, so I'm going to have a look and see what wildlife there is around, you know. Right. <laughs> it's just that this patch, it's not really your hunting ground, is it? Oh, is there, is there someone that I do I need to get a licence? <laughs> <laughs> no, this just ain't where you hunt, mate. Fair. This is where <laughs> we hunt, mate. And I cast calm of... emotions. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go, right, talk me through it, because this is new. <laughs> Calm Emotions is a new spell. When I use this spell, yep. uh, it's supposed to be used on groups of people. But, I mean, it, I suppose it can't hurt if anyone's caught in the radius. I'm, I'm not feeling very calm right now. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yes, uh, every humanoid in a 20-foot radius sphere um, must make a charisma saving throw, um, and I can uh, uh, make a target indifferent about creatures of your choice that it's hostile towards. So. Great. What's your spell save, DC? Johnny, what a wonderful question. <laughs> I'm glad uh, you are. 16. Okay. He has not passed. <laughs> cool. I am an either. I'm nice and calm now. <laughs> oh, good. <sighs> buddy, 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 buddy. Hand on the shoulder. <laughs> hey, man. What a cool town you got here. It's all right. It's great, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Yeah. It's because of people like you. You're great. Cool. Hey, I saw some pretty cool stuff happening across the other side of town. Real cool stuff. Um, uh, there was this, I uh, picked up a little bit of thieves' cans on the way. I'll uh, yeah. tell you a shop that's easy to rob. Oh, yeah. It's old McGuinness's um, rare, books, rare, oh, books, yeah. rare books and pasty <laughs> for him. Oh, mate, you must be new to town. Everyone knows that McGuinness's rare books and pasty emporium <laughs> is the easiest joint to knock off. Well, it's easy right now because he has fallen asleep at the till. Oh, yeah, now, over that there, is man. different. I'm going hunting now. I won't ask for your wallet. But next time, I imagine I'll shank you. <laughs> and he sort of sticks his knife away and like wanders off. That's good because that spell only lasts a minute. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to have to be a bear for a second. <laughs> oh, nearly blew a cover. Sorry. Right. Um, you wait a little longer, and a couple more people turn up, and then you sort of see a guy walks into um, the sort of market square. And watching the others, you see they're they're trying not to to register that he's sort of entered. You sort of see them be like, and he um, he sort of walks straight past everyone and pushes his way in to like a real horrible little ramshackle hut um, that you didn't even notice before because frankly it just looks that dilapidated. Um, Corazon, you see above the door uh, that it basically is called the Spoiled Vintage, and like it. Written in, in in actually like in the the thieves cant equivalent of like gilded italics. Oh, where wow. they're really proud of their establishment. <laughs> it says a horrible boozer. <laughs> um, and so he walks in, and then sort of like one by one, the others sort of push their own way in, and uh, they enter the uh, the spoiled vintage. Guys, mm. it's uh, it's a pub. They're having a meeting in there. Good. Okay. Um, all right. Options. Yes. We either yes. try and eavesdrop without entering the pub, see if we can find an open window or anything, um, determine what they're doing in there, mm. or we go in there and see if we can carry ourselves as a bunch of uh, roguish scoundrels. You're don't think, the don't most think I'll have a problem. Roguish scoundrel. Why don't but you go into the lion's den, as it were? On my own. And yeah, on what your if, own. What if they fight we'll me? We'll stand by the window. <laughs> hey. um, and if they try and fight you, then we'll, we'll, we'll give cross us a that signal. Into an, if you need it. some support, I'll come in as a cat wrapped around your shoulders. Okay, yeah. And then you cat like friendly ship, pub. It's going to have to look cat. like a tough guy cat. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm a, a, yeah. a wild cat. Oh, a wild cat. Yeah. yeah like a, a cool, cat. cool, I just, cool yeah. affectation. Yeah. yeah. Like perched on my shoulder. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Forward party. Yeah. Um, how about uh, the rest of us could be on the roof, ready to drop down the chimney in an emergency? <laughs> <room. It's> <laughs> the fire's not on. <laughs> It will be fine. You're fine, Bruce. No, how are you going to uh, fit in a chimney? My disguise is going to burst into flames. You're orc. Though. You're like six foot six. I just I think it will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> he believes. How about instead you position yourself by the door, ready to breach and clear okay. if things kick off? Let's do that. I, yeah. It's also I like the roof fun. idea. Is, is there a chimney? Is there, I look onto the roof of the spoiled vintage. Is, is there a chimney? There is a chimney. There is a chimney. Is no. there smoke coming out of it? No. Is it large enough to accommodate a tiefling and a half orc? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yay! <laughs> um, all right, roof it is then. Well, right, not all of you. But like, we, if we're on like different positions, we can like all burst in in we'll different be able, places. We'll be able to listen down the chimney. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And hear your conversation and hear how it's going. Plus, uh, uh, this can like psychically message you at any point and stuff. It'll that's be... true. Okay. It'll I do be think fine. It... We'll, we'll have you back. All we right. definitely won't leave okay. you. From okay. down the road, uh, Dob, you hear a voice go. Wait a minute. 
uh, and it occurs to you that maybe everyone should hurry up a little bit. Oh, right, right, right. Oh. Okay, cool. You guys get into position, and I'm going to go in with right. Meryl when in cat form on my shoulder. <laughs> All right, we uh, scurry up a corner drain pipe onto the roof. I haul. No, 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 no! I've got a new spell for this. <gasps> uh, spider climb. I cast spider climb, and I climb terrifyingly like a spider <laughs> vampire. Oh, Jesus! Up the wall <laughs> no. Of this world vintage, oh. <laughs> like a lizard. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. That was a very easily climbable drain. Oh. Can you can you take us with with you? No. <laughs> is that is that can't or no, won't? You climb. Okay. <laughs> Both. Just I rush like, inside oh. to avoid having to look at it. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, um, right. I do so my best to sort of haul Egbert up onto the corner. I'm assuming it looks almost like you dislocated various things to make it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. Real yeah. horror show. Oh, oh, oh. Um, so it'll be a strength, athletics, or dexterity acrobatics check for those who are getting onto the roof. So to be fair, only the two of you and one of you's a seahorse. Little arms are going to have to be carried. Dob, you, you you get up there and then we'll we'll make you roll to to haul up the seahorse. <laughs> okay. Man, okay. anyone watching is going to be like, what the <laughs> hell is going on? <laughs> okay, so I rolled a five plus twelve <laughs> is seventeen. Seventeen. That's easy maths. Um, so, okay, 17. That was for dex acrobatics, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> so, like, you do a triple somersault half twist <laughs> onto the roof of the shack and land cat <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a line of judges. Hold on. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, three pigeons. <laughs> That's it, like, a passing crone holds up three pigeons, and at first you're like, is that a score? And then you realise, no, she's just mm. selling pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> and then she leaves. Uh, so just make me a real quick, just a straight up strength check to haul uh, the seahorse up onto the roof with you. <laughs> Should have used a rope around the chimney or something. 14 uh, plus one. Is That's 14? good enough, yeah. Um, you managed to get him up onto the roof without <gasps> compromising the disguise. Wish I hadn't filled it with seawater. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of whelks sort of spill out. Um, all in all, it's kind of fine. Bloosh. Right. I assume I'm just lying on the, the roof now. <laughs> yes. Leaking yeah. brine. Yeah. I feel like you can undisguise Egbert at this point. Uh, what if hey, someone were to see him? Do you want to be undisguised roof. at this point? Bearing in mind it's going to be hard to redisguise him, unless I had the foresight to install a zip. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. This whole um, plan relies on us being hidden anyway. Yeah. Feels like you're double hidden All right, at this point. okay, it's fine. We're not really in the kind of the central part of the citadel anyway. I just want you to be true to your dragonborn self. Okay, all right, I'm going to take the disguise live, off. Live your truth, thing, but Okay, yeah. it's, so right. it's like the giant seahorse died pregnant. <laughs> and then basically, oh. Egbert is just like, Wah! Oh God! Oh. Tears his way out. Be careful with a, that, be careful with In a massive disguise. seaweed, a gout of water, and... Uh, Maybe even more horrified by the fact that I eat a few of the whelks that were yeah. inside as well. Oh, they weren't good whelks. <laughs> Are you sure your kidney can process you do? Your one kidney. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. I think it cooked on the way down. It's fine. Okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you are very warm. All the bacteria gets burned off. Um, okay, so back down on ground level, um, it's like you heading into the, the pub, I presume. Mm, yeah. All right, so you push the door open. Uh, it takes a little while for your eyes to adjust to the gloom for there we go. Fine. tis. It takes very little time yeah. at all for your eyes to adjust to the gloom. Uh, Meryl, when you being a cat, you, you adjust a lot quicker. Um, it's just a very dingy room that's sort of like thick with smoke from various pipes and, and cigars and things like that. Oh, yeah. um, and it's sort of just one sort of very sallow looking man um, who sort of almost sort of is, he moves almost like bird like as he sort of gets bottles and, and pours different vintages of terrible smelling and looking. Uh, booze to people who are largely not very interested in you at all. Um, the people you saw go into the pub have sort of gathered around the table and for the most part they don't seem to be noticing you but you are drawing a few quizzical looks from people who are just like... I uh, walk up to the bar and say to the bartender, I have an ale please. You know it's spoiled. Yeah I like it spoiled. Fair enough. <laughs> he pours you an ale. It's like, what will the cat have? <laughs> what do you have? 
No. Water. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got any water, mate. Ale then. <laughs> <laughs> he, put, he, he gets like a dainty little saucer Aww. of spoiled <laughs> ale. It's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I take our ales and I move across to uh, the closest I can get to the table of the group that All we right. saw outside. And uh, get my eavesdrop on. I want you to make me a wisdom perception check. And we're going to call this a 15. Oof. Come on, Corazon. So, ooh, I've got plus two to wisdom. That's good. You've also got inspiration from oh. earlier if you yes. need Let's it. See. Okay. 14 plus 2, 16. Nice. Okay, so it's a little hard to hear them because A, they're talking in Thieves' Camp and that's difficult at range, yeah. even though you speak it. And B, because there seems to be a lot of weird clattering coming from the roof. Sort of like a weird sort of like... It sounds like someone's through the... Yeah. 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 Like, it sounds like uh, someone's struggling out of a seahorse. <laughs> yeah. A couple of drips sort of start in from the ceiling, but you just watch the, the man behind the bar. The bar is, is not like, it's not fronted, it's just a table. He just with a practice of long use just kicks a bucket and it goes <laughs> exactly <laughs> to where the leak is. And he's like... And goes to, to cleaning a filthy glass with a very dirty rag <laughs> um, as his like idle animation. But, <laughs> um, but you hear voices in Thieves' Camp, basically it's uh, one guy's like, right, we're going to run through this one more time. For you and me, plus two others, they're already clued in, don't worry about it. It's a small pub. <laughs> they're going to go out front, kick up a ruckus, draw some of the old shiny hoity toity boys out, and that's when. He sneaks in the back. He's going to sneak in the back of there. Yeah, of course he's going to sneak in the back of there. He can sneak in anywhere. And he'll do him right up. Uh, why ain't no one going to ask me how? It's real neat, lads. I shouldn't really be telling you this, but, you know, whatever. I'm sure he'll forgive me. He's, uh, well, go on, have a guess. Someone's like, um... <laughs> he's going to build a huge fire. No, mate. Um, he's gonna wait and stab all of them. <laughs> oh, Lord, uh, you're an idiot. <laughs> nah, he's doing their water supply, isn't he? It's gonna spoil that right off. Everyone comes in all thirsty, like, oh, we just chased down some criminals, aren't we great? Everyone has a little tipple. Everyone's dead within a day. Whole place is ours. It's neat, isn't it? And it's like, oh, yeah. Sounds very good. All right. Any questions, anyone? Merylwen, we know what their plan is now. Those guys on the roof, they don't, they, they can't hear any of this. Merylwen, they're talking about a plan. They're gonna, they're gonna draw out the order that runs this city, and then they're gonna poison their water supply with, I uh, presumably the pale tincture. We need to stop them, otherwise they're gonna kill everyone. Hey, so. What, what do you think we should do? Either we can try and get in with this group and spoil them from the inside, or we can regroup with the others and head for the water supply and try and stop them that way. You want to do that? Cool. Okay. Uh, I drain my drink onto the floor, but make it look like I'm drinking it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was delicious. Right. Uh, scarred face, the cat. Let's go. <laughs> we had a good... Drink. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. See you next time, bartenders. It's a good bar. All right. So you let's start to head out. You hear a voice go. Hang on. Hmm. Sorry. What? Hang on. Sorry. No. Just steady there, Scarface. <laughs> you turn, you turn <laughs> around, and one of the one of the guys in the meeting is staring right at you. Yeah, it's a problem, mate. You selling the cat? I'm not selling the cat. It's my ship's cat. It's good luck. All right. Fancy the cat? Yeah, well, get your own cat. I was trying. <laughs> Works again. <laughs> try harder. Find one that isn't as good as Scarface. You want me to try harder? Yeah. Yeah. And he sort of stands up and pushes his chair back. Yeah? Go on, sell me the cat. I'm not selling you the cat, mate. Cat is not for sale. Maybe. Is this conversation happening in Thieves' Cat or is it no, happening in. It's happening no, in, in the common tongue. Can we right. hear this down the chimney? Yeah. Oh. 
calm their emotions. You don't? <laughs> I can try and send calm emotions down the chimney. Yeah, send it down there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me just yeah. remind you. We're trying to buy this cat. <laughs> yeah, oh we're trying to buy the cat. Oh got, my god. Got a cat for you. You've cat. Freaking nine tails. He oh. starts to draw a blade. Are you casting? I it? start to draw I, a I blade. Cast, I cast calm emotions down the chimney. This I is just... going to work for a minute, right? If it works, <laughs> if it works full stop. If it works, it's all. I, basically, I think what I can do is by looking down the chimney, I can oh, obviously see the, I can see the fireplace. It, it right. doesn't specify, but I just it, there's a reflective it, point. You can choose within range. So I think yes. I look down the chimney. I think I can see the fireplace. Okay. I can send it down there. I press the loot sound hole up against <laughs> the chimney okay. for maximum, uh, uh, and I'm like, let's not be. At war, <laughs> it's cool to own no cats, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's a charisma saving throw, isn't it? Yes. Against a 16. Ye- yes. 18, 21. Okay, so your emotions are not affected at all. 19. Um, something. Yeah, more. so you're, you're both absolutely un- unaffected by this spell, but he's close. I actually don't want a cat. Yes, what for? No, I just don't want a cat. I, Good. To be honest, I, I, I feel like it's better not to have one in this day and age. Right, well. So Now I'm quite angry about you. Know, <laughs> that says about me owning a cat. Are you having a go, mate? Oh, no. my God. What are you so, saying about cat owners? Sorry, mate. Suddenly make the sound of a ticking clock I down the chimney. <laughs> I knock his drink out of his hand onto the floor. Of course. Uh, oh, the, oh I mean, no. That's quite impolite, isn't it? I'm <sighs> going to get really angry in a minute or so. Indifference ends if the target is attacked or harmed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't attack him, I attacked his drink. Uh, anyway, I'm leaving. <laughs> So I leave the pub unharmed and just... What is your armour class? My armour class? Yeah. That sounds like a loaded question. It's a 15. Why it's important. (laughs) Okay, he doesn't hit you, but as you flee, a a throwing knife thuds into the the door frame next to you. Well, that went well. Merylwyn, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. All right. (laughs) I assume Merylwyn now has a perfect parting from when the throwing knife (laughs) just a bit over the shoulder. Yeah. All right, <laughs> guys, Cute. get off the roof now. I know what's going on. I climb head first <laughs> down the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so unpleasant. Oh, I hate it. I can't bear to look at it. Everyone's <laughs> like arches her back. You made a real mess in there, Corazon. We heard everything. You were. You didn't hear everything. You didn't hear when uh, the guy tried to attack me, and I dodged out of the way and knocked him unconscious. More did importantly, you? did you did you find out anything? Yeah, I found out stuff. What did you find out? There's so there's a group of people who are going to poison the paladin order who are in charge what? over here. Dang. Yeah. Hey, but this pertains to you. What they're going to oh do is they're going to. There's seven of them, right? Okay. Five of them in there. Two of them are going to join them. Meryl went, please. There's five of them in there, okay. two of them are going to join them, they're going to cause a commotion out here. Right. And then while the paladins are all distracted, one of them's going to sneak in the back and he's going to poison the water supply using that pale tincture that you got from the apothecary This is brilliant! What? Why? Sorry, what? What? Why? Because... This is the atonement, right? Like, this is a, this is a, this, if I save the power in order, right. order. Oh. that'll make up for the stuff I did. What okay, did you do, by yeah, the by the way, now. what did you do? I really don't like to talk about it. I mean, it really feels like information that we should know. It's fine, it's fine, but this is brilliant. For example, this is a great did, you, opportunity. did you strangle a cat? No. Did you no. murder a bard? No. Did you hack off a tiefling's horns? No. Did you sink a pirate's ship? No. Okay. Well, that's all right then. Yeah. Okay. All, all other acts no, are then. acceptable. Um, I'm here. Okay. Cool. That's all fine. Um, we need to get to the to the to the top of the citadel, but sure. I can't walk in the front door. So, wh- how are they getting in the back? The they back, said back he way. said they were going in the back. Right. They hey, I just have a question before we go on. Yes. These guys are trying to like get into the citadel and, and kill the Paladin's Order. What do they want in there? Obviously their goal isn't to kill the Paladin's Order. What do they want? Do they just want to like take control of the city or...? Maybe they do what want do to kill the Paladins. Want? Maybe they just hate the Paladins. I mean, it's a very wealthy order. You okay. reckon there's a lot of gold inside the main keep or...? I don't just reckon... You know. I know. Yeah. Is this your old order, Egbert? Yes! Yeah. So it's the order of Le Dragon Dwar. Dragon Dwar. Like Dragon Dwar, yeah. Le Dragon Dwar. Uh, so. The Golden Dragon. Yeah. 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 
So you remember the way to the treasure? You know where the water supply is? Yeah, I mean, we could get, we could probably get in. There's a kind of grate, you could probably loosen it if you want, and we could get in the back. But uh, yeah, so that's all I can say. I really feel like I've already given you guys way too much information. About your secret cult order. It's not a cult. It's a very noble order uh -huh. of Crusader Paladins. Sure. Uh -huh. And that's it, <laughs> probably. Well, it's your atonement quest, Edgar. Yeah, yeah. So if you think we should go in through the grate and that gives us the best chance of success, then yeah. we should do that. It's the only way I can get in because if I walk in the front door, they are going to be angry. Just, who would they let in through the front door? Uh, Other paladins. I mean, you Other could, paladins. Not, you the, not, not this, this crew, right? We could be convincing paladins. Uh, you could, you we could say we're there to join. We'll you just could, put on a bunch of plate, we'll put on Egbert's clothes, he'll be naked in the sewer. Uh -huh. and we'll just, <laughs> I love it! And we'll just walk in and be like, oh, have you heard the good news uh, about, about the cow in the sun? Yeah. Yeah. Sun cow. Sign uh, us up. Yeah. your newsletter. You could request an, uh, an audience with the head of the order if you wanted. I'm but sure it would be What fine. about the back entrance where these these guys are going into poison? Oh, oh yeah, the guy we need to catch. That's well, I mean, I'm going there. that way. You can join if you like. But, uh, you know, there are options here. <sighs> Egbert, just absolutely no reason. What's your wisdom modifier? Minus <laughs> one! <laughs> Minus one! Of course it is. <laughs> How did you I forget? You. Sorry! <laughs> wow. Okay, that's cool. Um, just, just curious. Bloody ominous. Dob, you, <laughs> Dob, you hear sort of muffled a little bit through the, the wall of the tavern. I did want a cat! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Is it? Oh yeah! <laughs> the consequences! <laughs> They're here again! <laughs> we have to run Marilyn, from do you want to stop being a cat now or do you want to stay as a cat? <laughs> I don't know what that means! <laughs> the door bumps open. Like, Show me that cat! <laughs> what what cat? Cheese it, fellas! What cat? There's no cats. Has she turned back into. <laughs> Has she? What form no, are you right now? What, what, what form are you in? <laughs> I turn into a bear. Oh, oh my god. god. Love it. You want to buy a bear? <laughs> no, mate. Um, I just slowly edge towards him as a bear. I slowly <laughs> close the door of the tavern, <laughs> <laughs> maintaining eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> to seal him in or out? In. Oh, he's, he's all right. He's, he's come out. He's up into yeah. the tavern now. Okay. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. Mm. So right. thought, it's deathly silent inside the tavern. <laughs> That's enough out of them. <laughs> I just look through the window as they're there. <laughs> <laughs> they're, like, they're all stuck, they're like, don't care anything, don't care anything. <laughs> all right, it sounds like we want to head up to the Citadel, mm. the main Paladin <laughs> Citadel. <laughs> yes. Paladin HQ. And then figure out which way we're going to go in. What awaits our heroes in the Paladin Citadel? Will they be able to foil the plot of the dastardly Jacques Darkfall? Is Egbert going to take a bath or what? Find out next time on Outside Xbox. Subscribe now so you never miss an episode.